Hello guys, welcome to LEGO Microgame. In this tutorial, we'll go and we'll add some enemies into our game. So let's begin by loading up by pressing this button here and saving our last changes into the project. Boom, add an enemy. In this tutorial, you will add an enemy into your game. Okay, using LEGO Behavior Bricks. Let's start. Now we can select Galo and just throw it into the scene. It's there. Oh, oops. Let's press to put it down. We can adjust the view again. Okay, no big deal. I like to use the flying mode. Let's press next. Uh, now we can select the shoot brick and drag it into the scene as well and press to leave it there and they are telling us to place the shoot brick into the galo component like this yeah seems nice now we can enter play mode and probably the galo will shoot so yeah actually it's just shooting in this, in this direction oh uh, but that doesn't take any health so oh actually it takes <laughs> so let's quit to play mode and they are telling us now to add a look at brick okay uh, we can see the look at here and probably want to drag this here into the ground but they would tell us to put this into Galo as well okay they are just telling us to continue modify the shoot brick okay now uh, we just go here press the shoot brick change the velocity and accuracy okay so I, I will input the velocity to something like 30 no, actually I will 30 and I will change the accuracy to something like 60 I think it's pretty fair no so I will put next and enter play mode to see the difference and now he's shooting somewhere else not really sure why he's shooting there but hello so let's put uh, next and in the next tutorial, we customize the game. Okay, let's go. We can save. Okay, let's start. Add an explore brick. Okay, explore brick is here. You can just put it there. Connect the ex. Oh, explode. Sorry, not explore. Explode brick and connect it to the fan so I got the hang of it of this for now bang it's connected continue add a detonator base okay they want us to drag an altar into the scene and add a touch trigger okay touch trigger is here I'll put it there but I think they will they want us to add a touch trigger and connect it to the altar. Yeah, it should be like this. You should know that is to connect with the altar by now. Bang. Configure the detonator. Okay. Uh, find the touch trigger component. Is here. Touch trigger. It's a script. Don't worry about that. Set the target property to specific actions using the drop down menu okay target specific actions and now we can expand the specific actions and put the size to one when you put the one will appear an action here to select and you can put fence explode so fence explode yeah it's here very nice I think it's okay. We can press 
They are telling us optional. Adjust the difficulty. As for the player, get past the bird, blow up the fence and double jump to the island. Adding a platform or other, other objects on the project window to make the jump shorter. Yeah, I want that. Oh, so I will put the platform there uh, because it's easier to control it uh, when you put it somewhere. And now I need to change it here. No. Yeah, I need to take that off. And now I can move it somewhere here, probably. I don't know if the fence will explode completely or fall down, but I think it will explode. So I can just put it here and rotate it a little bit. Okay, seems okay for me. And okay, they are telling us to make the bird shoot. Uh, they are telling us to make the bird less dangerous, but let's not worry for that for now. Let's press next and let's play test, but let's save first. Control S, play test. Okay, let's not mess up with that guy for now. But let's jump on this. Boom! To detonate the fence. Now we can jump on it on the platform that we just put there and we can go to the other side of the island. Well, that's pretty neat. There is some weird creatures here. It is a bull, man. I love it. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, are just simply blocks moving. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. So, let's quit this. And let's see uh, what is the next step. Customize your game. The island shows some of the different LEGO behavior bricks created for this micro game. Yeah, I noticed that. Why not combine objects and behavior bricks to change the look or player experience of your game? Get creative and explore. This unique project includes a range of different behavior bricks in the LEGO Behavior Bricks folder, objects and characters to play with the LEGO model, Models folder. To use these assets in the project window, go to Assets LEGO Prefabs, Assets LEGO Prefabs, and choose the folder you want to, to explore first. Okay. Put next. Next steps. You can experiment with the bricks and characters in this micro game project, just like physical Lego game sets. If you'd like some more structured guidance on customizing your game, check out the Lego micro game creative mods. This link will open the Unity Learn website in your default browser. You can also explore the playground scene and experiment there. When you are finished customizing, you will create a build and publish and publish your game. In the final tutorial. Select tutorial 7, build and publish or done to return to the tutorial overview while you mod. Uh, okay, let's try the tutorial first. Go build and publish. We still have some time. Build and publish. Before you publish your game, have you tried adding some LEGO creative mods to make it your own? When you are ready, this tutorial will guide you through the building and then, okay. I want to see the, the building and don't worry about the other for now, the other part for now. Open the WebGL publisher. Okay, we need to go to publish WebGL project. WebGL publisher, oh, this is nice. Get started. Please sign in. Publish your project, please sign in. Okay, I just signed in and they say that this step could take up to 30 minutes. Wow, that's a lot. Your WebGL project will be public on Unity Play. Your first build might take some time and the editor will be unresponsive during the build. More than that, we could use some mods or we can take and try to create a build to our game. Uh, we will do this in other projects, so I don't think that is the best way to be waiting 30 minutes to, for this build. While well, minigames can take like 1, 2, 3 minutes to make a build. We don't know how much stuff is into these projects uh, for, or, of LEGO, so we'll, we'll stop here. I hope you guys uh, like this uh, 
mini series tutorial and with your feedback I might go into other tutorials or not we'll see about that uh, probably next week so thank you a lot for watching this this tutorial and this series if you if you did I hope you learned something new while covering this Lego micro game and I will see you in our next tutorial thank you a lot for watching and stay safe